Congratulations, you're one step away from having your very own book and generating more sales by being positioned as a trusted authority in your area. In this video, I'll show you how to create and publish your book so you can use it to generate sales. It's fast and easy to create, and you can do it in as little as five minutes. Plus, we've found that the agents who achieve the best results are the ones who take action and move quickly. So let's get started. For the first step, you need to log in to your Book Builder account. To access your account, you need to check the email account that you signed up with. You will receive an email from support at authorify.com with a subject line that says, Welcome to Authorify. Click on the link in the email to set up your password and log in to your account. Please pause this video as needed so you can build your book as you follow along. If you can't find the email, please check your junk folder. If you can't find it, wait a few minutes as it may take a few minutes to arrive in your inbox. Or go to the login page and reset your password. Or contact our support team to have them resend it. Once you are in your account, click on the Continue button to start building your book. Next, enter the name email address, and phone number you want to put on the back cover of your book. Check the checkboxes below the form that apply to you, and click the Continue button to go to the next step. Next, select the cover you'd like to use for your book. If you don't have a high-quality headshot photo available, select a cover without a photo on it. You can always come back and add one later. If you use a book cover with a photo on it, you can easily add a photo to it. Just click on the image on the cover, browse the files on your computer to find your photo, and upload it. If your image is sideways, you can click the flip button to rotate your image until it's upright. You can also click and hold down on your mouse button to drag your image to fit the area. Once the image is in the right spot, Click the Use and Crop button to upload it to your book cover. Once you have uploaded an image, it will be saved to your photo gallery and you can use it anytime in the future. If you selected the Broker Logo checkbox on the contact form, you can upload a logo the same way as a photo. There is also a pre-populated logo library with most of the more popular broker logos in it you can customize most of the text on your book's cover. If you check or uncheck the Show Guides checkbox at the bottom of the screen, you can quickly see what you're able to customize. To customize text on your book cover, click on the area you would like to modify. When you do, a box will pop up to allow you to modify the text. When you are finished modifying the text, click Done. If you want to change your email or phone number, you can do it on the Update Contact form that you started on. It may also be helpful to know that you can move between the different sections of your book with the drop-down menu at the top of the screen, or by clicking on the Back or Next button at the bottom of the screen. Once you are happy with your cover, make sure everything is saved by taking a look at the Save button at the top of the screen. Everything is saved automatically, but if you upload a large image, it may take a few seconds to auto-save it. And if you click the Next button before it has auto-saved, it won't upload your image. So at any time, you can also click the Save button if you want to ensure it saves your work before you move on. When you're happy with your book cover, click on the Next button at the bottom of the screen to go to the next step. On the next page, you will see the sections of your book. The manuscript of your book is the main section of your book that has all of the content. You can add sections before or after the manuscript to enhance your book. For example, you can add a biography section before your manuscript that tells readers who you are and gives them more information about you. You can add a call to action at the end of the book if you would like to make an offer to get people who have your book to contact you and start a sales conversation. If you want to deactivate a section, 
just drag it to the inactive book section in the middle of the screen. You can always drag it back up to the active section if you want to reactivate it. Plus, you can move sections of your book around by dragging them to the location you would like them to be. Once you're happy with the sections in your book, click on the Next button at the bottom of your screen to continue. On the next page, you can customize the sections of the book that you decide to include. If there is more than one template available for a section, you can see it on the left side of the screen. There will always be a blank template available so you can create your own or paste in something you have already written. For example, for your biography, you can paste in a bio that you already have written or write something right on the blank page. If you decide you don't want a section of your book later, you can always go back to the book section and deactivate it. If there are multiple templates available, you can click on a template and it will populate in the main screen so you can review it. If you like a pre-populated template, you can modify it. Any sections that are highlighted in yellow are sections you need to modify. To modify them, click on them and fill in the appropriate information like your name and phone number. Once you are happy with the sections of your book, you can preview it by clicking on the Preview button at the top of the page. Or you can click on the Publish or Next button to publish it. But before you can publish your book, you will see a pre-flight checklist so you can ensure everything is ready. If everything is ready, you will see a green check mark for all of the sections of your book. If something is not ready, there will be a red X and an Edit button for you to go back to that section and finish setting up your book. Once you have finished your book, you can hit the Publish button or the Next button at the bottom of each page to go back to the Pre-Flight Checklist page. Remember that you can also preview your book at any time by clicking on the Preview button at the top of the page. Once you have everything ready for your book, you will be able to click on the Continue button on the Pre-Flight Checklist page and publish your book. On this page, you can publish your book. If you don't have credits, click the Add Credits button to review your plans available to get your book published. If you have credits available, select the number of books you want to print from the drop-down menu and click the Continue button to have them printed. Congratulations! If you made it this far, you have successfully created and published your book. Now you can use it to generate leads, convert warm leads into hot leads, and close more sales. Be sure to go through our other resources for more strategies to generate sales with your book. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.